Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from A to Z Media. Today we'll be discussing some more problems regarding black body radiation. So, first question: The power radiated by a black body is P, and it's ma it radiates maximum energy at wavelength lambda naught. If the temperature of the black body is now changed so that it radiates maximum energy at a wavelength three by four lambda naught the power radiated by it becomes NP. Then what is the value of N? Okay, it's a simple question. We have to combine uh, Stefan Wolfsmann law and Wien's law. Okay, so uh, whatever may be the question, you have to write down what is given in the question first. Okay, the power radiated by a black body is P. Okay, so uh, uh, there are two cases in this question. Okay, in first case, the power is P. And Corresponding to that power, it radiates maximum energy at a wavelength lambda naught. Okay, in that case, lambda max is equal to lambda naught. Okay, and if the temperature of the black body is changed, so that means, uh, let's say the temperature is T1. Okay, in that case. Now the temperature is changed, so that is the second case. Okay, now the temperature is changed to T2. Okay. If the temperature of the black body is now changed so that it radiates maximum energy at a wavelength 3 by 4 lambda naught. So in the second case, lambda max is 3 by 4 lambda naught. Okay. The power radiated by it becomes NP. Then what is the power? N times P. Okay. What is the value of N? Okay. So here we have to combine both Stefan's law and Wien's law. Okay. So what is Stefan's law? Intensity or power per unit area is equal to A sigma t raised to 4. In question, nothing is mentioned about the body. So I can write emissivity A equal to 1. Okay. So from this, from this equation, I can write power is proportional to t raised to 4. Okay. We can uh, write what is needed. Okay. Power is proportional to t raised to 4. Okay this particular power is proportional to t raised to 4. Is that fine? Okay. Now, uh, we have to write temperature in terms of lambda. Okay. For that, we know Wien's law. What is that? Lambda max into t is a constant. Okay. So, for the first case, I can write uh, power is uh, sorry um, we can do it in a different way from this equation i can write t is equal to this constant uh, let's say it's k okay this constant k divided by lambda max okay so temperature is equal to constant divided by lambda max okay therefore i can write this power is proportional to T raised to 4 means constant by lambda max raised to 4. Is that fine? Okay. Now we can write the cases. Okay. For the first case, this power is proportional to K constant. Constant divided by lambda max. Okay. What is the lambda max here? Lambda 0. Lambda 0 all raised to 4. Okay. For the second case, uh, power NP, it is the power is given as NP. Power is proportional to uh, constant divided by lambda. What is lambda here? 3 by 4 lambda naught. Okay. 3 divided by 4 lambda naught. Okay. Rise to 4. Okay. Now this is first equation. This is second equation. I can divide 1 and 2. 1 divided by 2. Okay implies what does this give p divided by np is equal to k by lambda naught whole raised to 4 whole divided by uh, k into 4 divided by 3 lambda naught raised to 4 okay so i can rearrange p p cancel is here right this p cancel is here 1 by n is equal to this k and this k constants cancel each other so what is left in the numerator 
1 by lambda naught raised to 4. Okay, I can multiply by the reciprocal and that is 3 lambda naught all raised to 4 divided by 4 raised to 4. Okay, this will be the case. So, lambda naught raised to 4 and this lambda naught raised to 4 cancels each other. That means 1 by n is equal to uh, 3 divided by 4 all raised to 4. Okay. So, I can write n is equal to n is equal to 4 by 3 all raised to 4. Okay. And what is 4 raised to 4? It is 256. Okay divided by what is 3 raised to 4 it is 81 okay so 256 by 81 is the answer that means option 4 clear it's a simple question now the second question a spherical black body with radius 12 centimeter radiates 450 watt per power at 500 Kelvin. If the radius were halved and the temperature is doubled, the power radiated in what would be? Okay. So this is also uh, another question based on Stefan Boltzmann law. Uh, according to Stefan Boltzmann law, intensity is equal to power per unit area. Okay. It is equal to A sigma T raised to 4. And it is given in the question that is a black body. So, I can choose A equal to 1. Okay. That means power per unit area is equal to sigma T raised to 4. Okay. Now, from this equation, power is equal to A sigma T raised to 4. Okay. This A is area. Okay. And this A is emissivity. In many textbooks, emissivity is chosen as E. Okay. So, from this I got power equal to A sigma T raised to 4. Okay. Now, uh, there are two cases given. As in the former question, two cases are given in the question. So, we can write that down. Okay. So, for the first case, the radius is 12 centimeter. Okay. And corresponding power is 450 watt. And the temperature is... 500 Kelvin. Okay. And this is the first case. Okay. In the second case, the radius is halved. That means uh, here, this is R1, this is P1, this is T1. Okay. In the second case, the radius is halved. That means 12 by 2. That is 6 centimeter. Okay. Then temperature is doubled. Okay. Temperature is doubled. That means T2 is equal to 1000 Kelvin. Okay. The power radiated will be. That means we have to find P2. Okay. So, this is the question. Now, uh, it is given a spherical black body. Okay. What is the area of a sphere? It is 4 pi R square. Okay. So, in short, I can write from this equation, power is equal to 4 pi r square into sigma t raised to 4. Okay. So, simply power is proportional to avoiding the constants. Sigma is a constant, 4 pi is a constant. Power is proportional to r square t raised to 4. Okay. So, uh, I can write P1 is proportional to r1 square t1 raised to 4. And P2 is proportional to R2 square T2 raised to 4. Okay. Dividing these two equations, we will get P1 divided by P2 is equal to R1 square T1 raised to 4 divided by R2 square T2 raised to 4. Okay. So, that means uh, I can write... What is P1? It is 450. Okay. Divided by what is P2? We have to find out. Okay. So, I'll write it P2. And what is R1? 
uh, r1 is 12 okay 12 square okay 12 into 12 or 12 square into t1 raised to 4 that is 500 raised to 4 divided by uh, what is r2 6 okay 6 into 6 okay r2 square into t2 raised to 4 what is t2 thousand okay thousand raised to 4 okay so just uh, solving this we can get to the answer 450 by p2 is equal to so i can cancel this 6 and 12 we'll get 2 and this 12 and 6 2 okay this 2 into 2 gives us 4 okay into i can write this as 500 divided by 1000 raised to 4 okay so this 0 and 0 cancel each other so we'll get 4 into um, 5 by 10 is 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 raised to 4 okay so it becomes 450 by p2 is equal to 4 divided by uh, 2 raised to 4 is 16 okay so from this i can get p2 is equal to p2 is equal to 450 into 16 divided by 4 okay so p2 is equal to 450 into 16 by 4 is 4 okay so that means uh, 900 into 2 that is 1800 okay so um, option 1 is the answer okay it's also another simple question clear now we can discuss a commonly uh, asked question in basic exam like set etc okay a good absorber of heat is a good radiator of heat is Stefan's law, Kirchhoff's law, Planck's law or Wien's law. Okay. This is actually Kirchhoff's law. Okay. For that we can study Kirchhoff's law in detail. Kirchhoff's law of radiation states that at a given temperature, the coefficient of absorption of a body is equal to its coefficient of emission. Okay. Or in other words, for an arbitrary body emitting and absorbing thermal radiation in thermodynamic equilibrium, the emissivity is equal to absorptivity. Okay. So, at a given temperature T, say this is an iron piece. Okay. This is an iron piece and the temperature is some uh, 300 Kelvin. Okay. So, at this particular temperature, the coefficient of absorption is equal to the coefficient of emission. Whatever may be the temperature, whatever may be the material, at a given temperature, if the temperature doesn't change, the coefficient of absorption and emission are equal. Okay. In other words, a good absorber of heat is also a good radiator of heat. Okay. So, it is Kirchhoff's law. Okay. Now, temperature of a black body increases from 300 Kelvin to 600 Kelvin. The emission rate in the process will become dash. Okay. So, it's a simple question. Uh, temperature T1 is equal to 300 Kelvin. Okay. And temperature T2 is equal to 600 Kelvin. Okay. Then, the energy emission rate becomes dash. Okay. What is the energy emission rate it is nothing but uh, intensity okay it is nothing but intensity intensity is uh, power per unit area okay intensity is power per unit area okay and what is this power power is nothing but energy per unit time okay energy per unit time okay so from stefan boltzmann law uh, this energy Per unit time or power is proportional to t raised to 4 okay because intensity equal to sigma t raised to 4 okay so i can write uh, p1 divided by 
P2 is equal to uh, T1 by T2 all raised to 4. Okay. So, this is equal to T1 by T2. It is 300 divided by 600 raised to 4. This cancel each other and that is 3 by 6. And that is nothing but 1 by 2 raised to 4. Okay, it is equal to 1 by 16. Okay, so it becomes 16 times. Okay, so the energy emission rate will become 16 times. Okay. A rectangular metal plate 8 centimeter into 4 centimeter at 127 degrees Celsius emits E joule per second. If both length and breadth are halved and the temperature is raised to 327 degrees Celsius, the rate of emission is dash joule per second. Okay. So, this is again regarding temperature and uh, area and energy. Okay. Again, Stefan Boltzmann law, power per unit area is proportional to T raised to 4 or power is proportional to uh, area into T raised to 4. Okay. So, P1 is proportional to A1 T1 raised to 4 and P2 is proportional to A2 P2 raised to 4. Okay. So, P1 by P2 is equal to A1 by A2 into T1 by T2 all raised to 4. Okay. So, in the first case, uh, the energy is E joule per second. So, I can write P1 is equal to E joule per second. In the second case, we don't know what is P. So, we will write P2. Okay. And A1 by A2. In the first case, area is 8 into 4. Okay. So, I can write 8 into 4 uh, into um, divided by. Uh, in the second case, area length and breadth are halved. Okay. So, length becomes 8 by 2 means 4. And 4 by 2 means 2. Okay. Because 8 and 4 are halved. So, it becomes 4 and 2. Okay. Into T1 by T2 raised to 4. In the first case, temperature is 127 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, that means 127 degrees Celsius. It is equal to 127 plus 273 Kelvin. It is equal to 400. Okay. So, that is T1 is 400 divided by, what is T2? 327. Okay. What is 327 plus 273? It is 600. Okay. So, 400 by 600 raised to 4. Okay. Again, this cancels each other. And this 4, 4 cancels each other. 8 by 2 is 4. Okay. So, E by P2 is equal to 4 uh, into what is 4 by 6? It is 2 by 3. All raised to 4. Okay. It is equal to 4 into 2 raised to 4 is 16. Divided by 3 raised to 4 is 81. Okay. So, what is P2? P2 will be 81E divided by 4 into 16, uh, 64. Okay. So, that's it. 81E by 64. Option 2 is the correct answer. Okay. Again, if a black body emits 0.5 joules of energy per second when it is at 27 degrees Celsius, then the amount of energy at 627 degrees Celsius will be. So, uh, intensity which is equal to power per unit area, which is equal to power is energy per unit time, it is equal to sigma t raised to 4. That means energy per unit time. Okay. Energy per unit time or power is proportional to t raised to 4. Okay, that means P1 by P2 is equal to T1 by T2 all raised to 4. Okay, in the first case, uh, P1 is 0.5, okay, joule per second, divided by 
we don't know p2 okay p2 is equal to 27 degrees celsius and uh, that becomes 273 plus 27 that is 300 degrees celsius okay divided by 627 okay that becomes uh, 627 uh, 700 is 900 okay 900 whole raised to 4 okay so we will get p2 is equal to uh, this uh, 1 by 3 okay p2 is equal to 3 raised to 4 into 0.5 okay it is equal to 3 raised to 4 is uh, 9 into 9 81 into 0.5 Okay, that means 81 by 2, it is 40.5. Okay, so option 1 is the right answer. Clear. So, uh, these are the questions uh, frequently asked from black body radiation. And if you have any questions or doubts, you can uh, comment below. I can solve that for you. This is our for today. We will come again in the next class. Thank you.